Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, we take you on virtual tours of the most fascinating places around the world. Now, have you ever wondered what the top 10 most visited places in Kathmandu are? Nestled in the heart of Nepal, Kathmandu is a vibrant city teeming with history, culture, and breathtaking landscapes. This city, abundant in age-old temples, palaces, and courtyards, holds a special place in the annals of history. Reflecting the rich tapestry of the past, Kathmandu is a magnet for travelers from all corners of the globe. In this video, we will take a virtual trip to the top 10 must-see locations in Kathmandu. Each of these places, from the bustling markets of Tamil to the serene tranquility of the Budhanath Stupa, offers a unique glimpse the city's past and present. These sites, steeped in history and culture, are not just tourist attractions but a testament to Kathmandu's enduring spirit and allure. Get ready to embark on a journey through time as we explore the top 10 most visited places in Kathmandu. First on our list is the Kathmandu Durbar Square. Steeped in history and culture, this UNESCO World Heritage Site is an open-air museum that tells the story of Kathmandu's royal past. Once the residence of Nepal's royal family, the square now serves as a living testament to the country's rich architectural tradition. As you stroll through the square, you'll be greeted by the intricate wood and stone carvings on the buildings. These architectural marvels, dating back several centuries, showcase a blend of Hindu and Buddhist influences. The square is also home to the iconic Teleju Temple, the tallest in the city, adding to its skyline. But it's not just about the past. Kathmandu Durbar Square is still very much a part of the city's present, often bustling with locals and tourists alike. It's a place where history, culture, and everyday life intertwine, making it a must-see for anyone exploring Kathmandu. A visit to Kathmandu is incomplete without a stroll through the Kathmandu Durbar Square. Next, we take you to the Swayambhunath Stupa. This ancient holy site, often referred to as the Monkey Temple, is a beacon of spirituality and tranquility. Perched high on a hill, it overlooks the bustling city of Kathmandu, offering a calm retreat from the city's hustle and bustle. Swayambhunath Stupa's history is as rich as the vibrant prayer flags that flutter in the wind around it. With origins dating back to the 5th century, this sacred site is deeply entrenched in Nepal's cultural and religious fabric. It's a significant destination for Buddhists worldwide, embodying the journey towards enlightenment. The stupa's unique architecture is a sight to behold. Its white dome symbolizes the world, while the 13 tiers above represent the stages that humans must pass through to achieve nirvana. The gilded spire, adorned with the eyes of Buddha, watches over the city, symbolizing his omnipresence. The Swayambhunath stupa offers a serene and spiritual experience that you cannot miss. Our next stop is the Pashupatanath Temple. This revered site is not just an architectural marvel, but it's also a significant landmark in the Hindu religion. Nestled on the banks of the Bagmati River, the temple is believed to be the place where Lord Shiva, one of the principal deities in Hinduism, resides. Its roots trace back to around the 5th century, making it an embodiment of centuries of faith, devotion, and history. The main temple is a pagoda made from beautifully carved black stone adorned with silver and gold. Its intricate designs and detailing are a testament to the craftsmanship of the artisans of yesteryears. Around the temple, you will find numerous smaller shrines dedicated to various Hindu deities, each with its own story and significance. The Pashupatinath Temple is more than just a religious site, it's a vibrant hub of culture where traditions come alive and spirituality intertwines with daily life. The Pashupatinath Temple is a testament to the rich cultural and religious history of Kathmandu. Moving on, we arrive at the Budhanath Stupa. This grand structure, one of the largest spherical stupas in the world, whispers tales of history and spirituality. Built in the 5th century, it's not just an architectural marvel, but also a significant symbol in Buddhism. The Budhanath Stupa is considered the center of Tibetan Buddhism outside Tibet, a beacon of faith and harmony. Its unique architectural style, a mandala design symbolic of the universe, is a visual treat and an exploration of Buddhist philosophy. The stupa, with its all-seeing eyes of Buddha watching over the valley, exudes a sense of tranquility that draws visitors from around the globe. It's not just a monument but a living testament to the centuries-old Buddhist culture and practices. The bustling surrounding area, filled with monasteries and shops selling Tibetan artifacts, adds to the vibrant atmosphere. The Budhanath stupa, with its striking presence, is a must-visit site in Kathmandu. 
Next, we take a trip to Thamel. A glaring contrast to the ancient monuments and spiritual sites we've visited so far, Tamil is Kathmandu's commercial powerhouse. Here, the old and the new coexist, creating a unique cultural blend that further enriches the city's appeal. Established over four decades ago as a tourist hub, Tamil has evolved into a bustling marketplace, brimming with a myriad of shops selling everything from traditional Nepalese handicrafts to modern trekking gear. The narrow, winding streets echo with the chatter of local vendors, the hum of motorbikes, and the laughter of tourists from every corner of the globe. But when the sun goes down, Tamil truly comes alive. Its vibrant nightlife is a sensory delight, with the enticing aroma of street food, the rhythmic beats of live music, and the warm, inviting glow of countless bars and restaurants. Tamil, with its bustling streets and vibrant culture, adds a modern twist to our historical journey. Next on our list is the Bhaktapur Durbar Square. This isn't just a place, it's a living testament to Nepal's rich history and cultural heritage. Nestled in the heart of Bhaktapur city, the square is an architectural marvel that has stood the test of time. Its origins date back to the 12th century during the reign of the Mala kings, a period marked by artistic prosperity. The square is dotted with intricately carved temples, palaces, and courtyards, each telling a story of its own. The 55-window palace, with its meticulously detailed wood carvings, is a showstopper. The Golden Gate, considered an unparalleled specimen of Rapus art, serves as the entrance to the main courtyard of the palace. The square isn't just about historical monuments. It's a cultural hub where festivals like Biscuit Jatra and Gai Jatra come alive, adding vibrant hues to the city's fabric. Bhaktapur Durbar Square allows you to step back in time and experience the grandeur of ancient Nepal. Our next stop is the Patan Durbar Square. Often referred to as the City of Fine Arts, Patan holds a special place in the heart of Nepal. At the center of this city lies the Patan Durbar Square, a testament to Nepal's rich history and architectural brilliance. The square is a spectacular site, filled with Nuari architecture that dates back to the medieval period. The intricate wood and stone carvings, seen on the numerous temples and monuments, attest to the skill of the ancient Nuari artisans. The square is also home to the ancient royal palace, where the Mala kings of Lalitpur resided. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is not just about history and architecture, it's also a vibrant hub of culture. Traditional festivals, celebrated with much fanfare, breathe life into these ancient structures, making history come alive. But what makes Patan Durbar Square truly special is its resilience. Despite the devastating earthquake in 2015, it stands tall, embodying the spirit of Nepal. Patan Durbar Square is a living museum of Nepali architecture and history. Next, we explore the Garden of Dreams, a hidden gem in the heart of Kathmandu. This exquisite wonder is a testament to the city's rich history and architectural prowess. Commissioned in the early 20th century by Field Marshal Kaiser Shumshur Rana, the Garden of Dreams is a harmonious blend of Eastern and Western architectural styles. Sheltered by six pavilions, each representing a season of the Nepali calendar, the garden is a place of serene beauty and tranquility. Its fountains, decorative garden furniture, and beautiful pergolas are reminiscent of the Edwardian style, while the intricate carvings and ornamental features echo Nepal's traditional craftsmanship. The garden's significance lies not merely in its architectural beauty, but also in its role as a peaceful retreat. Amidst the hustle and bustle of Kathmandu, it offers a quiet sanctuary where one can unwind, surrounded by nature's beauty. The Garden of Dreams is a tranquil oasis that offers a respite from the bustling city. Finally, we take you to the Hanuman Doka. Nestled in the heart of Kathmandu, this royal palace complex is a testament to the city's rich history and grandeur. Named after the monkey god Hanuman, a statue of whom stands guard at the entrance, Hanuman Doka was the seat of Nepal's royal power until the late 19th century. A labyrinth of temples, courtyards, and museums, the complex is a treasure trove of Nepalese art and architecture. Its buildings, adorned with intricately carved wooden windows and doorways, stand as a testament to the craftsmanship of the newer artisans. Hanuman Doka also holds the distinction of being a part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site, Kathmandu Valley, which speaks volumes about its historical and cultural significance. From coronations to cultural festivals, the palace complex has borne witness to countless historical events, making it an integral part of Nepal's royal history. Hanuman Doka marks the perfect end to our journey, encapsulating the rich history and culture of Kathmandu. 
And that concludes our tour of the top 10 most visited places in Kathmandu. We've journeyed through the lavish palaces and temples of the Durbar squares, climbed the sacred steps of the Swayambhunath and Bhutanath stupas, and soaked in the spiritual tranquility of Pashupatinath temple. We've navigated the bustling streets of Thamal, marveled at the serene beauty of the Garden of Dreams, and stepped back in time at Hanuman Doka. Each location has its own tale to tell, a piece of vibrant tapestry that weaves together the rich history and culture of Kathmandu. From ancient palaces that have withstood the test of time to bustling markets brimming with local delicacies and vibrant handicrafts, Kathmandu offers a unique blend of the old and the new. So, don't just take our word for it. Come and experience it firsthand. Immerse yourself in this city where every corner whispers stories of a bygone era and every stone sings songs of yesteryears. So pack your bags and prepare for an unforgettable journey to Kathmandu, a city where history and culture come alive. If you enjoyed this tour, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting journeys. See you in the next video.